Hi, I'm Chris at the piano. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at space notes in the treble clef. So the first thing we need to do is put a treble clef onto the board. Start just below the bottom line, go up in a straight line, then curved cross on the fourth line D, at the widest point on the second line, then go up to the third line and just finishing past the second line. If you've looked at our line note video, you will know that the second line is G4. But today we're looking at the space notes. And when we talk about a space note, we literally mean in the space. So it's sitting on one line and underneath the other line. It's the first space, the second space, third space and fourth space. The line notes are called F, A, C and E. Now the note we had on this line was G4. So the one below is F4 and the one above G is A4. Then we miss out the line. This was on the previous video. You can see that this was called B4. And we come to the C. This is where our numbers change because this is the fifth C up from the bottom of the piano. C5 and this one is E5. And you can see the letters spell F, A, C, E. A lot of people will say face in the space as a nice way to remember these. I have another rhyme on my sheet and that is frogs and caterpillars eat. So at the bottom you can make up your own rhyme for F-A-C-E because sometimes you can remember your own better than one that's told you. There are details on the other side of the treble clef and bass clef and there are some instructions on stems as well. The reason this is useful is on the worksheet, at the bottom of the worksheet, you're asked to draw the space notes as crotchets. So quickly review what we spoke about with stems. If the note head is below the third line, the stem goes up on the right. So we'll colour the note in and add our stem. That chalk's not very good there. There we go. And the stem should be roughly four lines long. So for the A, the stem will be higher, roughly four lines long. The C is above the third line, so the stem needs to come down on the left colour that in and the stem comes down roughly four lines. Then the E again it's above the third line so the stem needs to come down on the left and it should be roughly four lines long. What we don't want to see with these notes is a note head and then a tiny little stem because you can't see it. Equally so we don't want to have a note head and then a super long stem because that just looks silly really, doesn't it? Nearly as silly as this one. The other thing to remember when we're doing a note is that the stem goes at right angles to the, to the stave at 90 degrees. So we don't want to see notes that look like they've blown over in the wind. And we definitely don't want to see notes with the stem going up on the wrong side. So it's very important that you get your stems right as well as the notes in the right place. Another thing to watch for is that when you're drawing the head, sometimes you see teachers in particular doing this and the heads look a little bit like hockey sticks. It's quick and easy to do that, but the note head should be more oval and coloured in nicely. So not like that, but more coloured in like this with a stem. I remember my school teacher used to draw notes like this 
and tell me to draw notes like this. So always do as you tell other people to do as well. Watch your stems length and make sure the stems are at 90 degrees. F, A, C and E. You can download the worksheet from our website, which the details are in the description below. This video is also available on the Music Academy Hub YouTube channel, Chris at the Piano YouTube and Staley Bridge Music Academy YouTube channel. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and myself or one of my team will get back to you. If you've got a teacher, you can ask them to mark the worksheet, but if you don't have a teacher and you like it marked by a Triquetre approved tutor, send it to one of our social media channels as a photograph and one of our team will mark it and send it back to you. We may also put it onto our page. Thank you very much for joining me. If this has helped you, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.